Hi, Derek with Continental Door here, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about springs. How to know if it's broken, or um, and how, how do torsion springs work? So this um, system here is pretty conventional of today's standards. This is a torsion system. You got your torsion bar tube, which is right here, and your torsion springs sit on the tube itself. And this is your left hand torsion spring. Here's your right hand torsion spring. Um, this is a 16 by 8 two car garage on a smaller smaller door. Um, you'll notice that you might have one spring or two springs or two smaller ones, but uh, one spring doesn't mean it's missing one. It could just be a lighter door. So how springs are designed is they calculate the weight of the door and they put it into an IPPT equation and then they, they calibrate these springs to lift the door within about a seven pound tolerance. So these doors are very balanced. If you run it manually you'll notice that you know they'll sit on any location and it'll be very balanced. But if you were to come out you notice that your door kind of tries to lift and stalls out definitely run it down real quick and look up here to see if this one spring is now broken into two spots. It could be broken from anywhere from here to here. There's no rhyme or reason it just breaks and um, now essentially your door now is you know half dead so with this one spring gone it's essentially half the weight of the door now is just dead weight and you're overworking your motor. What you're not going to want to do is you can uh, if you got a car trapped you can come out here with the help of your spouse or a neighbor or somebody that's up to lifting the weight of the door get your vehicle out and then you're going to want to get a new spring or you know call call a professional tech and we can come out and replace it um, for a charge and get everything all tuned up. Now what, uh, if you have a two spring door, it's a good idea to replace both springs. Generally, I don't think I've ever seen where both springs break. You'll usually have one break before the other. But that other one has the same cycle count on it and a cycle is measured just from an open and close as one cycle. Standard doors are uh, engineered and designed for 10,000 cycles and that usually runs, if you do the math, anywhere from seven to ten years depending on maintenance and depending on how many times you open and close your door system. So you, that guy although intact you will want to replace because the the cost of the springs isn't that expensive it's the labor to get in there and tear in. So once you're into replacing one spring to replace the second one is is really um, not a huge charge. So the other thing you'll notice is little black lines here and that if this sprung, spring was not wound you'd see one just straight line. So an unwound spring will have an actual straight line on it. Most of them are manufactured with Clopay does. Um, some, some don't. Sometimes installers will paint a line or chalk a line. Maybe you won't notice a line, but generally most installers do put a line on. And the reason they do that is uh, over here on your winding cone, when you wind one revolution equals one turn there equals one line. And generally, it's about door height plus three quarters is how, how much you should be tuning or winding it. So you'll start here at your retaining cone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's about three quarters. So eight and three quarter, that should, that sh should balance the door out perfectly. And you can see it's wound up. Um, and then the other thing how this works is, so this, these set screws engage into the, the tube, which transfers that energy to your drum which is like a big pulley, four inch, four inch drum and then carries the load at a geared uh, four inch obviously is going to have a lot more pulling power than a, just a, if it was just directly wrapped on the, the tube come into this cable and lift your door. So also while we're out here you know we're going to check to make sure your, your cables aren't frayed or there's no damage there. Um, the one thing you're going to want to be careful of when you do lift up your garage door system is now that you only have one spring on loaded on your door or you might find if it's a one spring it's completely dead the, the door doesn't go cattywampus or something and then it could fall out of the track which obviously would put you in a unsafe predicament or um, you know a lot of things can go wrong when when a door goes bad it goes bad to worse and it happens really quick so make sure a trap car is not worth hurting yourself or you know potentially even risking uh, life over it. So make sure you feel comfortable before doing it. If you need any help or concerns, feel free to call us or look us up online and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.